is the color I used 90% of the time while bass fishing when I was young in my childhood. Favorite stick bait in my favorite childhood color. It has caught me so many bats. It's all about durability because we spend a ton of money on lures. They should last a really, really long time. So if you haven't already subscribed and you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If we can hit 200 subscribers within a few months, that would be super cool. We're at 134 right now. So help me reach that goal. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, all right, all right. What's going on YouTube? How you doing today? My name is Mike. And today we're not going fishing, I apologize for that, but we are going to be talking about fishing. Anyway, I hope you all are having a great day, I know I am, because I get to talk about some fishing tackle. We're going to have our third episode of Tackle Chat. So yeah, I hope you like these kind of videos. I, I like putting them together because it's fun to share my opinion on different styles of baits lures you know how to fish them all that kind of stuff but yeah this is the third episode of tackle chat so let's get into it the first thing i was thinking about today while i was at work was like oh i gotta make a video i wasn't able to make a fishing video because the weather has just been terrible so terrible that it's like negative six degrees outside I did end up finding a safe lake to go ice fishing on, but I drilled a hole, sat there for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and my fingertips and my toes started to burn a little bit, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go home and wait for a warmer day because, you know, I'd rather be safe and not in pain and all that stuff because it makes fishing miserable. I don't have a shack, I don't have a heater, I don't have any of that stuff, so. Yeah, that's why there is no legit fishing video today. Hopefully we can get that done sometime soon. Maybe some trout or steelhead fishing. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. But anyway, today's chat, tackle chat video, tackle chat video is about worms. Pretty simple, right? You just go to the store, you buy a pack of night crawlers, and you put them on a hook and you go fishing. No, we're not talking about natural live bait. We are talking about soft plastic worms. And more specifically, my favorite sixth sense fishing soft plastic worms and how I like to rig them, how I like to use them, so on. So, we are gonna start off with the a stick bait. A stick bait is a soft plastic style worm that is literally looks like what it sounds like a stick. A stick of soft plastic that usually, um, what is it? Con? No. I'm trying to think of the word that tapers at the tail. So you have a cylindrical body and then a tapered tail. And here are the six cents fishing stick worms. This is the Clout 5.4. We have it here in Junebug Red. That is an excellent color, uh, especially in the summer when the grass is super thick or if the water is kind of murky. Give you a close-up of that color here. That is the Junebug Red Clout Worm. Clout Worm is super special. I literally don't use any other stick bait now because it's got this texture on there which makes it move through the water super well and it's super durable you can catch multiple multiple fish on a clout worm rather than something like you know, bashing on Yamamoto or any other brands but usually they they're not durable they just fall apart sometimes even when you're just casting it so that's why I like the clout worm they don't do that 
very quickly. And then we got another color here in Grass Candy. Obviously, I use this a lot because the packages are the most drawn. Another color I would use is uh, Watermelon Red. It's a fantastic color in any stick bait. That's that Grass Candy color right there. This is a very natural color and I fish a lot of clear water most of the time so this is usually my go-to and six cents just recently actually I don't know just recently recent to me came out with a color called electric shiner which this is a similar color to the electric shad that Gary Yamamoto came up with and that is the color I used 90% of the time while bass fishing when I was young in my childhood so obviously when I saw this color I had to buy it because my favorite stick bait in my favorite childhood color it has caught me so many bass it's such a natural natural color and I really enjoy it hopefully you guys can see that well got a nice pearlescent bottom and then a nice melony top on there I think it's blue black and maybe some silver flake in there really cool color electric shiner I really I really really like this this is gonna be really nice in the summer and in that clear water for bass I'm excited to get out and try this one because obviously the natural colors clear water they go together and when the bass are being finicky uh, I just throw a clout worm on a wacky rig either I'll use a single hook for the wacky rig or I will use these right here these are the VMC wacky hooks it's an eighth ounce so it's a weighted wacky hook and then it also has that weed guard on there but I love these these are fantastic super sharp and it helps it sink a little bit then you also get that added benefit of the weed guard but yeah BMC 8th ounce wacky hooks I really like these um, when I start first learning how to use a wacky rig these were up there I was watching milk and fishing one day and he's like the wing ding and this is what creates the wing ding so uh, he I don't know if he uses VMC but just a weighted wacky hook creates the wing ding and it catches fish like crazy especially during those times where they really don't want to eat anything so yeah those are the first worms in today's tackle chat about soft plastic worms the Clout 5.4, you can use get Yamamoto's, Googs Geeks, um, Yum Dingers are really, really good. I like Yum Dingers. And uh, I think Big Bite Baits has their own Senko style bait you could try too. Those are super cheap, but uh, they look pretty good and they, they work pretty good. So, yeah, Sick Baits. Really good for bass fishing when the bite is super, super tough or if you just want to catch fish like crazy. Now that we got the clout worms out of the way, we are gonna chat about a much bigger soft plastic worm, the Six Sense Divine Shaky Worm. Um, I started first using sh worms that are like this, I don't know, back in what, 2018. I don't know what's that yeah started using the uh, what was it? the Guggen Bates um, slim shake on a shaky head and that caught me quite a few fish and then I started to notice that every time a bass short striped that worm I would either have to trim it down every time a bass would short strike that worm it would rip that worm's tail right off so the durability was just was it's just not great on those worms uh, not bashing on that company at all I have no problem with them because 
I still use their baits but just that worm the shaky worm the slim shake was it's just not that great because it would break all the time I would end up having to like cut the worm down or do something crazy that I didn't want to do and then Sixth Sense came out with their divine shaky worm and I started using that not up until recently and now I don't use any other style shaky worm maybe the zoom trick worm but that's about it because of durability for baits for me when it comes to baits it's all about durability because you know I, we spend a ton of money on lures they should last a really really long time or at least longer than a few fish catches like I want to catch five ten maybe more than that bass before I got to change that lure out so yes the divine shaky worm this is the uh, what size is 6.3 it's 10 count package this is melon dawn how do you tell it's probably my favorite color from six cents fishing melon dawn in a worm color is I don't know you can't go wrong with it it's a combination of two very natural occurring colors which is pink and melon so that is the melon dawn divine shaky worm pretty easy to use these you need a Texas rig them weightless that's fine put it on a shaky head which is what I do or you can Texas rig it again with a bullet weight those all work all, I've caught fish on each one of those ways of fishing it and then uh, let's see I got a larger pack here in watermelon red Divine Shaky Worm. I think that is the 7 inch version. So, get one of these out, show you. And 6 cents. They now make a 9 inch version of the Divine Shaky Worm. I need to get some of those. I really want to try that because that is crazy huge for a Shaky Worm. And I'm curious to what would be caught on that. But yeah, here's the 7 inch versus the 6 inch. This is the watermelon red color and the 7 inch. Very, very good natural color. I really enjoy watermelon red, especially with all the clear water. A fish. And, you know, it really the action of this is incredible because this will sit at the bottom, especially if you're using a shaky worm. And this tail right here will be moving the entire time which is super super nice and they made it it's not super thin right here it's thin but it's not super thin and it's durable enough where it's not gonna rip if you catch fish I've had fish grab the tail and then I would try and set the hook and it never rips the bait and then sometimes they grab the tail they go off with it and then they spit it back out swallow it again and you know it's just a super durable bait and I really enjoy it because of the action and I think in high pressured areas a shaky worm is something you probably want to have with you because I don't know there's something about that being down there and then that tail shaking around that will trigger a bite a little bit better over anything else and being with the you know bullet weight Texas rig it's a great bottom dragging bait too because they will see this whole body and tail wriggling across the bottom and I think that triggers some good reaction bites but yeah this is the uh, divine shaky worm my favorite style of shaky worm next and then you know my my other favorite probably be a zoom trick worm or something like that but when it comes to durability these divine shaky worms are probably the go-to show you guys here I got it rigged up from last fall from this fall last fall we're in a new year from last fall with 
a shaky head. That is the oh, what color is that? That is the gill dust color. But yeah, that's a seven inch gill dust color. It looks super awesome in the water. Great bait to use. One of the things I would probably throw first thing during pre-spawn after this ice melt is that shaky worm because I did that a year before and a year before and it worked super super well while the water is cold. I don't know why but I think they just think it's a worm emerging from the mud after the you know while the water is starting to warm up and they're like oh easy meal so yeah the divine shaky worm give that one a try last but not least the worm I have never used before but I've heard good things about it is the ridge worm giant giant bait this is a 10 inch ribbon tail worm I got it in plum melon magic comes in a pack of seven but the ridge worm is a new style of worm from six cents fishing super thin body but still that plastic feels super durable I don't feel like I'm gonna rip it or anything like that you can put this on a shaky head you can put this bullet weighted you can do just about anything else you could do with a worm but this has got this giant ribbon tail whole thing is a ribbon tail so you can imagine that is moving like crazy down there I mean just already it's moving like crazy so I'm gonna be throwing this in the summer bottom dragon around structure like on the outside structure or if there's a rock pile I'll use this down there or just in between all of that grass that is gonna be super cool bait to try out and I'm excited to do it I've heard really good things so this is part of the tackle chat just as a quick little entry here alrighty so I hope you guys enjoyed that maybe you learned something I mean I'm not an expert so some of the stuff I said probably you already know but yeah I, I have fun talking about this stuff and let me know how you would rig some of these baits up tell me what you liked what you didn't like and what kind of success you have had with using soft plastic worms and like during what season and all that stuff you think they work the best I'd like to know that I'm always ready to learn something new so school me up in the comments let me know what you thought too leave a like and subscribe I'll see you on the next one stay safe out there